Now then YouTube, I am the tough man. I'm bringing you this video for one of a few reasons. There's a, a few things that I'm going to cover today. A couple of moans involved as well, so if you like my epic moans, it's definitely the place to be in this video. The first thing that I'm going to touch on very, very quickly is anybody that's involved with the Minecraft server is still on for tomorrow. That's never changed. I know I said I was taking a week off, but you know I will, I will be putting videos back on YouTube first thing on Tuesday. You will see my next part of Liverpool. That will be up where I take on Bolton in a world-class match with zero sliders on, apart from the injuries. I hate fucking injuries, so I'll let them off. Everything else is 50 and 50, and there's proof on the screen of that, so you can't moan at me. Um, the other thing, like I said, the Minecraft server is still on for Saturday, that's that tomorrow. That's never changed. It's, it's still the same. So anybody that's involved with that, make sure you're on Skype. Make sure that you're, you're going to be online tomorrow night, because it was a good session last time, and I'm sure it'll be a good session again this time. Right, on with the meat and potatoes. Of this, uh, of this video. Meat and tits. That's what I should have said. On with the meat and tits of this, uh, of this, of this video. Right, the first thing I want to cover, Brendan Rodgers obviously has, has just got uh, the Liverpool manager's job. And it surprised me. I've got to say, it's not surprised everybody, but it certainly surprised me. Um, I look like a twat now in my other video, but fuck it, I'm all right with that. Now, I had the unfortunateness if that's even a word, the unfortunacy, I don't know anyway, I had that to miss the press conference, I missed the press conference, I didn't see the press conference, and uh, I have no idea, I probably can go online and find it, but I missed that, but apparently I've been told that, you know, this guy is determined to do a good job, you know, every manager says this, I'll believe it when I see it, you know what I mean, I'll believe it, when I see it, and I'm going to listen very intently on his, uh, on his, you know, after the match of the day, and see how he deals with the press when we lose, because we're bound to lose. This guy said that it's going to take some time uh, to to make sure that to get his playing, um, his style of play across, which it, all, it always does with any manager. So we will see that the time will tell whether or not this is going to be a good appointment. However, this was a massive gamble that's just not going to fucking work out. Now, the next thing, and this is what I want to moan about, actually. Now, I'm a Liverpool fan, okay? But this decision defies me. I was very annoyed when uh, Stuart Downing was picked for the England squad. He's, he's done a shit fucking job for Liverpool for 99% of the fucking season. How does he then just walk into the England squad? I've done a better fucking job than him, I ain't gone on a fucking football pitch. That's how crap he's been. The only good thing I've ever seen him do is when he was in, he was playing in the Cali Cup final. There was one particular move that this guy did, and uh, you know, that was it. He did like a fucking heel chop thing. And I thought, hey, that's his five star skills then that fucking FIFA put on him. They've changed it by the way now. I was annoyed at that one. But this decision defies belief. I could not fucking believe it when this decision was on Sky Sports. I was looking at it and I looked at my missus. She didn't give a fuck about football. So I looked at it again. I looked at my lad. He didn't give a shit about it really because he's too young to understand. And I looked at it. I looked at my phone because I thought about ringing my cousin because he does actually give a shit about fucking football. I thought, nah, I won't ring him because he's out. Fucking can't believe it, right? Frank Lampard's injured, yeah? Frank Lampard fucked himself over. He's been shagging too many pros, whatever it is that Chelsea players do. No offence to Chelsea players, uh, to uh, Chelsea fans. But, you know what I mean? He's fucked himself. So what does Roy Hobson do? Roy Nobson, sorry. That's his real name. Roy Nobson is his real name. Fucking just believe that, alright? What does he do? He calls up Jordan Henderson. What the fuck is he playing at? What the fuck is that guy playing at? Where is the belief? What the fuck is he playing at? There is plenty of other centre mids in the fucking... In, that's English. 
There's better than that. There's so many other that I can't even fucking name them off the top of my head. There's so many other. Somebody said in my fucking comments, and I actually agree with them here, Michael Carrick, right? Even if p fucking Paul Scholes come out of uh, retirement, he'd still do a better job than Anders or Jordan Henderson. I can't believe that this decision has been made. Jordan Henderson, he can't keep the ball for long enough to pass the fucker. So why the fuck is he in the England squad? I don't understand why Andy Carroll's in the England squad when there's other fucking English strikers around. I just... Why is Andy Carroll there? And Peter Crouch, who's a proven fucking goal scorer at club and at uh, international level, why are they not in it? Why are they not in the squad apart from these knobheads? Now, I, I'm a Liverpool supporter, but I'm not blinded by fucking Liverpool. You know what I mean? I'm a Liverpool supporter, but I'm not blinded by my support. I'm not one of these idiots who go forwards and say, oh, we're going to fucking win it all. We're going to win the league. We're going to... I see things realistic, right? And I always watch a football match for what it is. A football match. I always watch a football match to be entertained. If somebody scores a good goal, I say it's a good goal, whether it's Liverpool or whether it's the opposition, right? For the life in me, I do not understand, from the terms of football, what the fuck Roy Nobson is playing at here. He's made one fucking big clanger. Two big clangers, because he chose fucking Downing as well. Just a sec, because I'm sure some twat and I didn't fucking hit the camera. No, we're alright. Can hear some noise outside, I thought it was fucking... I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Why the fuck did they appoint him? Uh, did the English FA just sit down and think, you know what, lads? Not lads, because they ain't anymore. You know what, Codgers? I think it's time that we just hung up our fucking boots, even though they did so, like, fucking ages ago. Trevor Brooking and all that knobheads. Fucking what the fuck are they playing at by hiring Roy Nobson? I'm at a loss as to understand every single decision that this, has, that this has been made. Why has Harry Redknapp not been given the fucking England job? How many fucking times does he have to miss out before he turns around and says, You know what? You've had your fucking chance. Piss off. I'm too old now. Fucking does my head in. People can say about Roy Hodgson's past and about what he's done in the past. It's a different game of football nowadays. It's a different mentality. It's a different thing in fucking Tyler. You get knobheads like Cristiano Ronaldo who get breathed on and they've suddenly broke both their legs. I'll tell you something, I would love to break that cock's legs. I fucking can't stand it. There's always these knobs in football. Sergio Busquets is another one. I can't stand that player for how he plays football. Drogba, he might be a good player, but he finds the fucking flaw too many times. Suarez, Torres, don't think I'm blinded just because I support Liverpool. Suarez is a fucking cockend who needs to keep himself up off the floor and go towards fucking goal and pass it every now and then. The fucker's too focused on getting goals, uh, on getting goals himself that he doesn't pass the ball either. That's the fucking problem that I can't stand either. Does just doesn't matter. There's no place in football for diving bastards. There really isn't any fucking place for it. It does my head in. The, the people are on about the fact that goal line technology, right? Goal line technology, oh, it'll slow football down. It'll slow fo football won't be the same again. It'll slow it down, be shit, be all fucking crap. Football's about speed and fucking... Tell that to Droggers. Tell that to Torres. Tell that to Cristiano Ronaldo when they're on the floor acting for fucking ten minutes. Tell them that. Say, get up. You're fucking, you're pissing about with what football's about. It's the same thing, right? It's the same fucking difference. Fucking does my head in. Does my head in. Tell you, fucking wound up now. Oh, fuck's sake. No wonder I'm losing my hair. It's no fucking one of these bastard decisions. And I've forgotten what the next thing I was going to talk about as well. So Frank Lampard is injured 
Nobeds come in for, I, for a reason I don't fucking understand. Um, as you all know, I played Arsenal Giants PS3 yesterday, it would have been now, and I managed to win. 2-1, which was absolutely wonderful. It was a good game. I've got to say, it was a, it was a brilliant game. Uh, pardon me. Now, we did it the post with that amazing fucking shot that had Pepe Reina beaten, but he hit the post. Luckily, I managed to get on the end of that. And it just shows you, and you're going to see in my Liverpool playthrough how difficult the game is against the AI and how annoying that the game actually gets against the AI. Put me against a human player with actual human reactions to what you're doing, I'm okay because I can anticipate what's going to happen. I can anticipate where they're going to put their people. I can anticipate where the ball is going to be passed. I can anticipate what is going to happen, okay? And that is a skill in FIFA that people don't have. But I I have some way I can do that to some degree. I mean, I'm not I'm by no means the best player in the fucking world, and I don't claim to be. But I can sometimes I can think he's going to pass it there, and he does. Or he's going to look to get that guy to run over there, and he does. You know what I mean? I can anticipate some things. What's going to happen when you're playing against the AI? It's impossible. These people, these things know exactly what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. Because as soon as you press the button, the signal goes through, and the computer knows exactly what you're going to do like that, like fucking that. Now you cannot beat that. You can't beat it. And these people who manage to go through the game on legendary, I set me hat off to you because it's fucking impossible. It's fucking impossible and it's hard. And people moan. People have the sh fucking knobheads out there that moan to me about playing the game how I play it, right? If I wanted to sit there and rip my hair out for, t for however long it is that I'm going to do recording these videos, if I wanted to do that, I would sit there and I would just rip my hair out without playing the fucking game. I would do it. Right? These knobheads who say, oh, you're a noob, you play with signers, oh, you're a fucking noob, you play on, you play on fucking professional, you're an, I hate that, I fucking can't stand it, each and every person is different, give people fucking credit please, some people, like my son, can only play an amateur at the minute, he's not good enough to go to the next level, he's not good enough to challenge himself a little bit more. He just isn't. Some people like to play on semi-pro. Some people like to bang in 10 goals a game, right? They like to do that. Some people find it difficult on semi-pro. You've got to give people credit. Not everybody plays the same. Not everybody plays how you fucking play. If I wanted to be one of these people who sat there for 24 hours a day and went online and just fucking played it like it's my fucking life, then, you know, I probably would be as good as that. I could learn the game a lot more, but I'm not one of them people. I don't want to sit there and watch bullshit happen before my eyes. I want football to be what is football, right? When I see Phil Neville catching up to Theo Walcott, there is something seriously wrong with the game's engine. Now, you can feel free to disagree with me, right? The average person plays on professional with no sliders, and that's how they like to play. They win some, they lose some. That is how they like to play. I like to play on legendary, okay, with the aid of sliders to make the game what it, it should be like, in my opinion. There's a few sliders that need adding. Headers, fucking blocking is ridiculous, but headers is a massive, massive thing for me. Headers is fucking massive. Feel free to put in the comments um, what you guys think about that. Like I said, give me credit. How many fucking videos have I done on fucking FIFA? That's the way I like to play. And as always, 
If you don't want to watch it, fucking don't, because I'm sick to fucking death of hearing all these people saying about what sliders have you got on? What are oh, you got fucking sliders on again, aren't you? I always fucking went. I have got sliders on, and I've always said that I've had these sliders on. There's a couple of times where I've had different sliders on than what I've expected. I couldn't do anything about that. That was that was way back. But it just does my own. Does my fucking head in. Anyway, guys, there was something else that I wanted to say, but I've totally fucking lost it. Me moaning about Frank Lampard and Liverpool and them fuckers, I've totally forgotten. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video there. I think it's a good time to say, you know what? I'm going to fucking get myself a cup of coffee. I think that's a good time to do that. She always likes getting in. Fuck her! That pissing woman! She does my fucking head in every time. I could be in the middle of a football manager, the fucker will... I knew she was going to do it as well. I thought, you know what, I'm going to turn my speakers off. And then I forgot. Because I was doing something, I can't remember what I was fucking doing. And then I forgot. So I sat down and started doing it. Virus database has been a fuck off. Tell me at three o'clock in the morning or some shit when I'm not doing all. Or when the fucking computer's off. Update when I'm not around, please. Don't start giving me that shit, woman, all the fucking time, getting in there, getting on my tits. Fuck. Honestly, she does me in. I could be watching a YouTube video through my TV, because I've got, like, HDMI connected to the back of my TV, so I can just switch it over. She'll pop up halfway through me watching something, and I'll piss off! Just leave me alone! What's fucking wrong with you? Ignorant fucker. Is that what the plan is that what the fucking program to do? At the most inopportune times, she'll pop up and say, Yo, by the way, your virus database has been updated. I don't give a shit. Just pop up, that's all you have to do. Don't tell me about it. Why if the computer's on half the time I'll be looking at it. So why are you telling me about it when I already fucking know because the thing's fucking there? Where's the logic? Where is the fucking logic? I don't get it. Just one more thing to add to the collection, fellas. One more thing. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to say about. Right, this is the last thing, because I need to go. HDPVR. A lot of people have been saying to me, when are you getting HDPVR? Why are you not getting HDPVR? Why do you, co why do, you do it through computer, uh, through cameras and stuff like that? The reason for this, and this is for the benefit of all my new subscribers, that have come over the time. The reason why I don't currently have a HD PVR, number one is money. I don't have much money on me at the money. Number two is the way that I record would drastically change if I got a PVR, a HD PVR. It would most probably be me recording the screen, recording the, the program, and then recording the audio afterwards, unless there was some way to get definitely get the audio properly synced together. Because I've heard that it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to sync the live audio with your video. Because there is no current way at the minute to get them both at the same time through a HD PVR. So that's another reason why I'd have to change it so that I'm commentating over a game rather than commentating with the game as I'm doing it. Which, I mean, it could be good. But I can tell you something, there won't be as many videos as what there are out now. There's all these people that say to, uh, you know, other people's channels that have a video a day up, maybe, or a video every couple of days. There is work that's required. There's a lot of editing and stuff to do to make it exactly right. It, by all means, you know, when I, when I get HDPVR, because it will happen. I just don't know when. I can't say when. I can't say a time frame. When I get HDPVR, this thing will happen on my channel as well. I can't help it. It's just the way that, that it will be. A lot of people want a top quality um, picture as well as the audio. And it's alright, I can only do so much. The only reason why I don't have as many subscribers as what people would think that I have is because of the audio quality. People see a camera and think, I don't want to watch this, and then turn off straight away. And I can see it in the demographics. I can see the analytics of the video, of when people actually switch the video off. 
I can see when it happens. And most of the time, it's with it right there within that, for that first time. And it's especially noticed on when I started the expedition mode. And I know a lot of people would have turned on to the expedition mode and watched that, but as soon as they see that it's done by a camera, they drop off and it, it goes. Now that if I was done a HD PBR, it would be totally different. So that's what's going to happen with the future of my channel. But for the, for the time being, it's all going to be normal and the same. And it's probably going to be like that, that for a few months. Now I'm trying desperately to line up a second game in my Tough Man Takes on YouTube. There's two different things that I'm doing in this one. There's Tough Man Takes on YouTube, which is predominantly going to be for the bigger channels, bigger than myself, that is, where I take on the bigger ones that are bigger than me. When I take them on, that's going to be part of, of that. There's going to be the other one, where it's Tough Man Takes on the subs. Now, I'm going to do a separate video about that, so don't post anything in this one. So I'm going to do a separate video on that one. Tough Man Takes on the subs. Now, if you're a young, fledgling, like FIFA player that does commentary for YouTube and does FIFA videos for YouTube then by all means stick your name on for that when it's on the video not not on this one because I'll ignore it on the video when I'm, what I'm going to do about that which isn't going to be in the next couple of days um, then by all means stick your, your name in for that when that comes up because that is predominantly for the people that are smaller than myself that would like to get their channel out there because I'm not one f if I think and I will be looking at your channel, by the way. If somebody puts the thing in saying, you know, I would like to play you for the uh, Softman 6 on the subs thing, I will go and look at your channel and I'll sample one, of your, uh, one, of your, one or two of your videos. So make sure you've got videos on there. That is predominantly for who it's going to be. I want to do it for the smaller ones on YouTube so that they've got some kind of outlet or some kind of like little bit of advertising on my behalf so that you guys can see these other people that I think are doing a really good job with their, with their channel that just aren't getting the amount of subscribers that I think they deserve. If you're one of them people then definitely put yourself up for that one. Um, there are no plans at the minute to do anything else other than that like Tough Man takes on the subs as in widespread um, but Anyway, I've, I've, I'll leave that and I'll go into more detail that in, in another video because I, I really need to get off now. But anyway guys, I've been the tough man. As always, keep that, them fucking ass cheeks of yours safe.